I'm Ellen Lumpkin Brown and for today's doll lock tip I'm going to show you how to put a zipper in a doll dress. I know zippers can be a little intimidating. Don't worry we've taken care of everything. And here's the doll dress that we're going to work with. I just haven't pinned on this doll. And here are the tools that we'll need. You're going to need some scissors. Of course you always keep your seam ripper ha uh, handy in case we need to uh, redo something, a little bit of ribbon, and a zipper that's much longer than the dress. So this zipper here is 24 inches, the dress is only about uh, 8 to 10 inches. So here we have our dress. Now we're going to turn it over to the back. And this is going to be an exposed zipper, so that means you'll see the zipper teeth and the zipper tape. We unzip our zipper. Again, it's much longer than the dress. That gives us some um, room to easily put the zipper on. Line up the top of the zipper with the top of the dress and fold over this loose edge here. And then we're just going to pin it in place and get ready to sew. Now I've put my zipper foot on the machine, you can see that's going to allow the needle to get very close to the teeth of the zipper when I sew. And I'm using a white and light thread here so that you can, you can see what I'm doing. So, and again, back tack a little bit, and then Now we've sewn down one side of the zipper, I've pinned the other side, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. And because the zipper is so long, you have enough room to work. You won't, uh, it won't feel tight or constrained. Snip your threads. Okay, and now you can see the zipper is really in. You could use any color thread here that you like to, um, to stitch your zipper in. So it can be a contrast or it could be matching, whatever you like. Now we need to shorten the zipper so that um, so that we don't have this long tail. And let me show you how to do that. We need to go back to our regular sewing foot. So we're going to take off the zipper foot and put the regular foot back on because we're going to do a little bit of a zigzag stitch right at the bottom. Oops. We put the machine on the widest zigzag stitch. On my machine that's 6.5 and all the way down to zero on the length because we're really just going to go, want to go back and forth in one place. Put the end of the zipper underneath the presser foot and then you just want to check and make sure that the needle is not going to touch it when it goes back and forth. So that's fine. And what you do there is you create a new stop for your zipper. Snip off the ends of your thread and then you get your ribbon and you can cover that little end just by stitching that on each side. Once you've done that, 
you'll cut off the end and you have an exposed zipper working zipper in your doll dress I'll put it on the doll and show you how it looks so here's our doll we've got the dress uh, on her and let me show you the zipper in the back Just uh, move her hair out of the way See our zipper is in and I'm going to lay her down just so that I can have an extra hand. Everything works fine. The, uh, cover, we covered our zigzag stop with a little bit of ribbon. There's lots of creativity here. You could take the ribbon all the way around the hem if you wanted to. You could bring it up the sides of the zipper if you like. Um, so you have lots of options to finish your doll clothes or even your own clothes. And we hope that you'll give this tip a try and visit us at thedollloft.com. And if you like this project, you know, just drop a comment down below and subscribe to our web feed. Thanks so much.